we're going to do, or we're going to start a short um, series of um, mass production on a small scale uh, with the CNC router. Uh, now, this is a, a trivet, three dimensional trivet, and I've actually got three of them. I made three all at the same time. Um, so, what I did, I just wrote a very, very short uh, program in AtCam to cut this pattern and then um, put a plank on the uh, CNC router and cut one side of it in that shape and the other side of it in that shape and then cut around them, cut them off, sanded them, banished them and that was this it. This series is really to, to show you that a small 6090 uh, router machine is quite capable of um, doing small production runs and they will work 24, 24 hours a day if you wish them to. Uh, and it's more than possible to put a, a full uh, sheet or should we say several planks. In actual fact I can, I uh, could set this machine up to make four of these across and I think seven, seven rows, maybe possibly eight. Um, so really all you would have to do uh, was, would be start the machine off and um, let's do its thing and then just turn the individual planks over um, each time you wanted to change a process. So. Um, We'll show you a very short process of making three of these all in one go, and I hope you like it. Okay, so what I've done, I've set up the material nice and square to the machine bed on here, and I've actually pre-drilled uh, three holes here for the centers, so when I turn it uh, around, I know I'm exactly uh, in the center, so we're actually going to machine both sides. Uh, so I've uh, zeroed the machine up to this first um, trivet here and um, we're going to cut the slot. <laughs> That's uh, that's one side done. It just needs a very I, look. I could write the program to run around this and uh, take the burr off, but uh, it's probably quicker if I did it by hand with a piece of emery or a piece of 
um, glass paper or something. Um, so anyway, let's call that one side done. So now we're going to flip it over and zero to each of these uh, center holes here and cut the, set the other side. Define where our holes are and then zero to them. Okay, I've zeroed the, uh, the tool now and um, we'll just fire it up and see how it cuts. see now the pattern goes all the way through. We've actually broken through to the other side where we did the straight line uh, patterns. So what I need to do now uh, is cut them out with the, using this CNC machine because what I wanted to do I, I want rounded corners. So uh, to enable me to do as least amount of machining by hand as possible while you get the CNC to do it for you. But for me to cut them out, I just need to clamp them. Actually, for me to cut them out with the CNC machine, 
I just need to clamp them down a little bit uh, just to make sure that they don't um, move uh, when we're coming to the last cut and dig into the side of it and make a mark. So just simply clamp it down so it's sufficient. Well, I hope you find this video quite informative and I hope you like seeing how these are made. Um, the sort of value of these, I, I suppose you could sell these in a market somewhere for maybe $15, $20 each. So you can actually make a living with these small machines. Please press like. All and I have to do now is say... Bye for now until next time.